is going on, beautiful people? And welcome to the only place in the universe that supplies you fuel for your dreams, goals, and entrepreneur ambitions for the free reality TV. And today, people, we have the world famous bookworm segment where we will be reviewing this little beauty the book on investing in real estate with no or low money down and as always we are back with my dog my co-host harold i am not your dog deontay i am a highly intelligent highly respectable black man you understand me i am not your dog you know what? You 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 get carried away sometimes, but I'm not I'm not even gonna get into it. Hello, people. <laughs> it's great to see you guys again. Forget forget that jerk. I'm gonna take over the show. My bad, Harold. My bad. My bad. No disrespect, bro. No disrespect. I just I just missed my dog. I just missed it. All right, whatever. Can we just please get on to the the book review, please, please? Yes, yes, yes. So the book in investing in real estate with no and low money down is pretty much for people who are, you know, interested in getting into to real estate and it supplies some nice creative ways for you to think about um, in order to help you get started in the business. The author, Brandon Turner, gives the reader, you know, some really creative ideas and strategies for people to get started in to, to real estate who don't have hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars backing them them, um, to buy these investment properties and, and really create a, a business out of it. Of course, I'm not going to get into all of them, but there are definitely three strategies I feel that are, are perfect for, for someone to really pay attention to who is getting started um, in the, the real estate business. So that's what me and Herod are going to uh, talk about. And of course, you guys will find out the rest of the strategies when you guys read the book. And what I want you guys to do after you read the book is yes, Drop a comment in the comment section below. Yes, hit that subscribe button if you have not already done that. You know what I mean? Hold on, Deontay, hold on. Remember, like the book says, before they even get started into real estate or any business venture for that matter, they must change their vocabulary. They must change their mindset to I can't afford it to how can I afford it. Yeah, Harold, you're you're exactly right. So let's start this thing off, Harold. Um, let the people know about the the home equity line of credit uh, slash loan, and tell us a little bit more about that strategy that you know Brandon Turner talks about in this book. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Home equity. This is really the the, the coolest one for me because I love numbers. They're they're just so cool. So equity is the market value of the home minus your current mortgage. So without boring you guys, because literally I can go on for hours with this topic, um, but I won't. <laughs> but, you know, you literally can take that equity out of your home and buy another investment property. It's like magic. Exactly, exactly. That is what I'm saying. And then boom, you have two houses when you didn't even think you had money enough to even get started. Super dope when you can apply it properly, you know? Yes. Remember, people, it's all about mentality. It's your mentality. Okay, another strategy is hard money loans. These are loans for, you know, real estate investing. Um, they're typically short term, you know, anywhere from six to, I believe, what is it, like 30 months or something like that. Um, high interest rates, and they do come with point. Why would someone use something so ridiculous? That actually is a good question, Harold. But, um, you know, the point of real estate is to always buy your properties as smart as possible. So when, when buying the property, if you keep these fees in mind already, the, the fees and the points of the hard money loan really won't matter at the end of the day. Just making sure you just have to make sure that you buy it right and include all these 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 fees that are going to um, come with this type of um, loan. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm following you. 
Continue. So really, the the point of this loan is if you know you don't have the money right away to buy this amazing deal that you don't want to miss out on, or you have money but you don't want to really use your money. Um, these loans are, are really quick, really fast, especially if you're you know established or have good credit and can prove that you can pay off the loan. Um, they're they're really great for scaling your business you know so that's really the the main point um someone would incur those points incur those you know interest rates rates because they know they're going to be able to flip the property um well well before those you know interest rates and points really hit them hard very interesting very interesting i like that i like that a lot Bro, for real, right? <laughs> it's so dope, man. It's so dope. And, and that leads us into the, the last strategy, which is my personal favorite. This is like the just blew my blew my mind uh, when I, I learned about this strategy. But but private money, private money is the, the third strategy that I, I really think you guys are going to latch on and really enjoy. Of course, with all these loans and lines of credit and all that, it goes into a lot more detail that I'm going now. So keep that in mind. But Literally, a private loan is someone gives you money, whether that's friend, family, someone you met at a coffee shop. You guys set up your own interest rates. You guys set up your own um, terms. You guys set up your however long the loan's gonna last, and boom, that's literally it. Now you have a private pool of money that you've already set your terms, you've already set your length of time to go out and buy real estate that's not even your own money. Yeah. Yep, they don't teach you guys this in school, do they? High school, college, nope. So with all that being said, those three strategies that I think will kind of pique your guys' interest to really go and buy this book, um, it's literally a, a pretty easy read, especially if you're into real estate. Um, it gives you some amazing, amazing ideas just to get the wheels turning and to start acting on. Um, however, Taking that into consideration, I don't feel like this is a book that any random person will go and pick it up. It's it's more so people in the real estate field like me or someone that is interested in real estate and don't know how necessarily they can finance this new venture of theirs or want to learn a little bit more about you know real estate or just want a little spark and you know being able to think outside of the box. That's more so for those type of people. And that kind of takes it, the rating down a notch, you know, um, because it, it's not for everybody. It's literally not for everybody in my opinion. Um, but still, the rating I give this book is a good read. Solid book, solid book. I, I took some solid pointers and gems from this book and I'm gonna be applying, I am applying them um, as well. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning into the channel, man. Once again, hit that subscribe button if you are watching the video and you have not subscribed. Drop comments in the comment section below when you read the book, um, how you liked it, you know, what you guys took from it, as well as drop any comments, letting me know kind of any of the ideas that have sparked your guys, um, you know, brains to really jump into to things. You guys already know, have a great day, week, month okay you guys know to dominate you guys know to dent the universe okay tune in to reality t b people that's the only place you need to be you understand me